Hello. Okay, so welcome to um, a little quick cookie talky video that I'm going to do. So, um, as ever, I'm hungry. I only cook when I'm hungry. I don't really love cooking. Everyone thinks that's really weird because I'm a nutritional therapist. But you know what, guys? I don't like cooking. I cook to eat. And um, anyway, so I'm kind of keeping away from dairy for a bit at the moment, not for any terrible reason. I just thought, you know, we know that there are things in dairy, caseomorphins, which for those of us that can easily get hooked on certain types of foods are not great, not particularly helpful. The clue is in the name. They act like um, an opioid. And so they have an effect on dopamine production. Um, and also, you know, dairy can be, for some people it can just, you know, um, boost inflammation, it's mucus forming perhaps in some people. It's kind of like, so I just thought, well, you know, let's not have some dairy for a while. So normally when I'm making what I'm gonna make, I pack it full of double cream and cheese. Hmm, so what should I put in instead? And just to not keep you in suspense anymore, I'm making what I've decided to call a fromlet. It's kind of halfway between a frittata and an omelet. And so I decided to go a bit Asian inspired today. I'm currently overcooking my onions and garlic, but I just gotta say, you know what? Just the onions and garlic, I've just been cooking them in some coconut oil really, really slowly. So gas hob, turned it down as low as it would go and just let it warm up really gradually. And so, and that makes a massive difference to how it cooks. So it's worth doing that. If you've got time, cook your onion and garlic, if you're gonna put them in really slowly. So they're in there, lots of garlic and one whole red onion. And I've, I'm gonna put loads of eggs in this because I'm hoping that it will last for more than one meal because that is another top tip. Cook more than you need so that next time you have a hungry attack and you're too busy or just can't be bothered to make anything, is there already in your fridge? And then that helps you setting up your life, setting up your fridge and you know doing your shopping in a way that means there's stuff on hand for when you are hungry, does you a massive favour. So next thing, I'm gonna put lots of chilli in. So this is four chilies that I've chopped up. Okay, um, I haven't taken the middles out. I'm not funny asking around with any of that stuff. They're not chopped particularly finely. I am not a chef. And so this is now going in my onion and garlic, which is cooking on my hob over there. on with that for a minute. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a whole courgette in there. I love courgette. So I'm just going to slice that up, give it a quick wash, topped and tailed it. I'm just going to cut it into four like that. And then literally super easy, dice it. Rough dice I guess you call that. I'm using six eggs, so if you can see these, I've got six eggs here. And then I thought, hmm, what else will make this kind of feel Asian? Because it's, it's on the hoof, I don't have any fresh herbs that would sort of really work. So I'm gonna use fish sauce. I always have fish sauce in my cupboard because it's such a brilliant way to add flavor to dishes. And I've got a bit of toasted sesame oil. Okay, and the whole seed oil debate, which I absolutely agree with, seed oils are not good for us. They're damaged, we eat them, they damage us basically. Um, but you know what? I don't cook in this. I just put a tiny bit on for flavour at the end. And my thinking is a healthy body is resilient enough to deal with a little bit of stuff that's not quite so amazing sometimes. So that's my sesame seed oil story. Okay, so chop the courgettes. That's going in here now. Turn that up a wee bit. Okay, and I'm going to put prawns in here. So I literally always have frozen prawn, prawns in the freezer um, and I'm feeling greedy. So I'm using Nigella Styli. So I'm, I'm using um, a whole bag of frozen prawns. Nothing particularly spectacular, just frozen prawns. Um, oh, and the other ingredient is black sesame seeds. Again, I don't really know why I've got black sesame seeds. I probably bought them at some stage for a recipe. So I have 
lightly toasted them, literally put them in this tiny little frying pan, nothing else. It's such a brilliant thing to do with seeds. It just, just kind of, you know, say you're having a salad and you've already put a bit of egg in it, a hard boiled egg in it to sort of, you know, give it a bit more protein for a start and sort of oomph. Um, seeds can be something that you can add to vegetables or salads um, particularly that can really, really change them and make them so much nicer. And so I quite often will toast sunflower and pumpkin seeds and add them to something like that. All you do is you put them in a dry pan, watch them like a hawk because they will catch really quickly. And when you hear them just start to pop, they're done. So um, that's my black sesame seeds. Right, next, gonna get these eggs ready. So like I said, normally, I mix them with double cream because that doesn't often make them super tasty. But today, I'm just upping the amount of eggs that I would use normally and putting these in. And this is brilliant because this is a protein rich lunch too, which will, apart from all the amazing jobs protein does in your body, will keep me feeling satisfied and not hungry and the two things are different things for way longer than if I was going to eat a, a quick releasing carbohydrate lunch like so many people do every day so something with bread as, um, as an ingredient for example and bread folks is a refined quick releasing carbohydrate and that means that it turns to sugar after you have eaten it, glucose, super fast. Possibly even by the time you've swallowed it because you have enzymes in your saliva that break the bonds between the starch in the flour back into its constituent sugars because that's what starches are, they're just long chains of sugars all joined together. Okay, so let's see how that's going. So I'm going to just whisk these eggs up. And I'm going to, at this stage, add a bit of fish sauce, before I forget, famous for doing that, add a bit of fish sauce to my mixture of courgettes, onions and garlic and chilli that's all been cooking in coconut oil. which this is the coconut oil I use so I um, spend a lot of money on coconut oil I think coconut oil is one of the things that it is worth making sure you get a really really good one with because again as with all oils you want to make sure that it hasn't been damaged because once they've been damaged in the processing then um, before they get to you for you to use it that then causes damage inside your body once you eat it that's the simplest way to put it so that's the coconut oil I use. And the lovely thing about buying really good coconut oil is if you ever find that you've got really dry skin or um, you know your nails have got a bit cracked or you know something like that, that coconut oil, you can put it on your body. You can eat it, you know, that's the sign of a really good product. So eggs ready. I am actually going to season this. I'm going to season this as well with a bit of salt. Although not too much because there is plenty of salt in that fish, um, fish sauce. I think it's a shame these are not smelly videos because it smells lush in here right now. Okay, so this is going in here. so that you can have a look see what I'm doing so what I'm gonna do is um, 
I am, here we go. So there we go, so the egg's in kind of setting, so I'm not gonna move this now because I don't want it to be scrambled. I do want it to be like a kind of a fromlet, so a very thick omelet. I'm gonna put the prawns in. So this is what I can really do with the cameraman. Anyone wanna come from a cameraman? Okay, um, let's give that a shake. And poke around. Okay, then I'm gonna pop the sesame seeds in. And you know what folks, really? <laughs> I'm making this stuff up as I go along. You can do this. You can make stuff up. You don't always have to cook with recipes. Um, you know, just work out what ingredients you like and then work out what to do with them. It's rare with savoury things that it, it goes so wrong that you can't eat it. Cakes is where you can't really change recipes, but savoury food, really, you have a big kind of um, sort of area in which you can change things. So that's all in. I'm just going to sprinkle a tiny bit of sesame seed oil on the top. Okay, again, if I had some nice green herbs, um, I might put those on there, but I haven't got any. And then what I'm going to do is just let that finish off um, on the hob, and then I'm going to finish the top bit, set the top bit under the grill, um, and it will be ready to eat, and I will put a photograph of the finished product at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope it was useful. Bye, guys.